Good evening, Angel. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm okay, thank you. What about you, sir? Estamos solos, teacher. Se fueron de compras navideñas. Es posible, es posible que quizás sea por la época. Eh, quizá ya comienzan a salir más tarde. Están okay. trabajando horas extras. Entonces, por eso es que hacemos siempre una espera prudencial para que That's puedan right. ser parte de la clase. Está bien, Tizo. Even though that we record the, the video conference and then they can see it. Sí, but uh, it is in, really important that they be present. Welcome, Cristina. Hello, teacher. Dice Don Ángel que estamos solos. ¿A de vera? Sí. <laughs> no, ya vine yo. <laughs> ¿Y después? Sí, ya. Yeah. Ok. How are you, teacher? I'm fine. Then, and you? I'm, I'm fine. Uh, some tired. Some tired, a, a little tired. Yeah, a little tired. Okay. Teacher, Hi. Uh, le voy a comentar algo. Siempre que pasa asistencia, hasta mis papás prestan atención. Ah, de veras. ¿Y eso? Ellos dicen presen. <risa> Están está pendientes. Eso está bien, mire. Sí. Excelente, excelente. Están aprendiendo inglés allá a lo lejos, dicen. Ah, ok. Para el siguiente <risa> módulo lo vamos a incorporar. <risa> en el básico. Cabal. Perfecto. Who's coming there? Raquel, it's Raquel. Welcome, welcome Raquel. Good evening. Good evening. Evelyn, glad to see you again. Welcome. Thank you. Drinking coffee, drinking coffee. Okay, we have only three students. Okay, welcome back to all of you. Today we are going to talk about the simple present practice. That means that you are going to reinforce your knowledge about this topic. But we need to wait for the let me see, eight, I got eight. Person Manuel is there. Ana Cristina, Marlene, Giovanni, Norma Carolina. Raquel Judith. Ahí está Rafael Ernesto. I'll be here, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, sir. How was your day, Harrison?
Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, more or less uh, finishing class. Really? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Yes. Okay. What about you, Rafael? How is the weather? I don't see with your with your jacket today. Uh, Maybe you are in your house now. And my workplace is cool. Ah, oh, it's cool. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Just with a chain. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Sometimes yeah. uh, he's wearing a jacket and everything, you know. Okay, welcome, Karina. And who is connecting? Oh, it's Karina. Okay, we need one more because I need to have the half plus one. La mitad más uno. Yes. Ana Cristina is coming. Somebody went to buy the pants and that somebody uh, was talking yesterday. Tres por veinticinco. Hello. Cheaper, it's very cheap. Evening. Expensive. <laughs> Expensive, Marle. No, it's cheap. Okay. <laughs> Good strategy. <It's> strategy. <laughs> Ya no esperamos yes. el Friday. No, pues sí. Ya no, hay, ya no hay que esperar Black Friday. No Black Friday, no robo. Ok, here we go. We are ready to spend a little bit. Ok. Let me see. Okay, Ana Cristina. Ana Cristina. Present teacher. Ana Cristina, is there Ana del Carmen? No. Angel? Present teacher. Fatima? No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Cristina Stefan. Present. Fatima del Carmen. No. Giovanni Alexander. Present teacher. Gerson Manuel. Present. Juan Carlos Palas. Juan Carlos. No here. Karen Yesenia. Karen Yesenia. Karina. Present. Present teacher. Ah, chief, te creo yo. No pensé que me estaba diciendo. Karen Yesenia. <laughs> Ya se vino el, el, el maestro, porque no le iba a traer. No, ajá. Pero no, 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 no,
¿Y usted por qué se fue? Okay, let me continue, please. Let me see here, okay. Linda, you bet? Linda, it's not here. Uh, Maria Julia? Maria Julia? Marlene? Present. Nancy, Nancy, eh, Norma Carolina, presente, che. Rafael, I'm here, teacher, Raquel Judith, Raquel Judith, Suleima Verónica. Suleima, Suleima, no, no está con nosotros. Good evening, teacher, Ana del Carmen. Ana del Carmen is present. <laughs> present. <laughs> okay, let me check out. I need to go back again and check it out. Ana del Carmen Álvarez, de Álvarez, de Álvarez. No es Álvarez, de Álvarez. De Álvarez. Ah, Linda is there too. Linda. Yes, I am here, present. Ah, okay. Let me see. Okay. Somebody else? We got 12. Only 12. Okay, here we go. Okay, welcome back to all of you. Today we are going to talk about the simple present and we are going to make some practice in order that you can develop your skills. In order to start today, we are going to do it in the following way. Okay, I have this. This is a riddle for you. Do you know what is a riddle, right? Yes or no? No, teacher. No? No. Mm -hmm. Okay, let us read it first. I have cities, but no houses. I have mountains, but no trees. I have water, but no fish. What am I? It is a question for you. Read it, please, and you are going to guess. You are going to guess. Read all, read all. Acertijos, adivinanzas. Okay. Who wants to tell me the answer? What do you believe that is the answer? I 
a map. Who is it? Who, who, who say it? Who say it? Anna, you are the one. A map. Okay, bingo. Me teacher. A word. A clue. A what? A clue. Mm. The word. Okay, Anna, Anna said that is a map. Anna said that is a map, okay? I have cities, but no houses. I have mountains, but no trees. I have water, but no fish. What am I? And that is true, it is a map. That means that you got a point for today. Uh-huh, okay. Somebody wants to read it? In order that you practice reading? I have city, but I no houses. I have mountains, but I no trees. I have water, but I no fish. What I, I. What am I? 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 See? And the answer is a map. In a map, we can find cities, but no houses. We can see mountains, but not trees, you know? Okay. Let me see the next one, please. Okay, what about this one? What English word has three consecutive double letters? Try to guess. Try to guess and tell me. You can write in the chat the word that you believe that is the, the answer. What an English word has three consecutive double letters. What do you think? Tell me. Free. Excuse me? Free. Free? Free, right? No, see? Free, creo. But listen, see consecutive double letters. Double. Three consecutive double. Ah. A little more, 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 close, close, close. But bookkeeper, keeper. bookkeeper. Who say bookkeeper? Harrison? Yes, bookkeeper. Teacher. You are the winner, Harrison. You are the winner, Harrison. Se ganó una cena en su casa. <laughs> oh, okay. a cenar ahorita, teacher. <laughs> Se ganó una cena en su casa, pero no hoy. Y no el once. Okay, and the last one. Now, how, how is seven different from the rest of the number between one and ten? How is seven different from the rest of the number between one and ten? Okay, try to understand what we are talking about it. How is the seven different from the rest of the number between one and 10? Okay, I need that you think about it, think about it. How is seven different from the rest of the number between one and 10. Time is running, time is running.
Okay, tell me something, please. How is seven different from the rest of the number between one and 10? Come on, try to look for the answer. Don't give up, don't give up. Don't give up, please. Okay. No idea? Seven has two syllables. Okay. That is the answer. Seven has two syllables and the rest only have one. Listen, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> yes, okay. Try to keep in mind, try to keep in mind. Okay, excellent. No, pero veo que todavía algunos están así como kind of sleepy. I don't know why. Okay, here we go. Let us start talking about this two question that we have here. But remember, I like that you participate. Who interviews future employees in your company? And the second activity is list five activities you do in a regular day. Let us talk about the first one. Who interview future employees in your company? Try to keep in mind the question because I'm going to stop chatting because I need to see your faces. Tell me, please. Tell me. Tell me. Who interviews future employees in your company? Give me the name of the person in charge of interview the new employees in your company. Tell me. In my case, in, in my company, uh, the technician of the uh, results result of the human mm. the person who made the inter inter interview okay interview. the human resource manager is the one okay somebody else somebody else please give me an answer In your case, Angel, what can you tell me about it? In my case, the human resource teacher is a manager, Ilya. Okay. What about you, uh, Linda? Uh Human resource teacher is in charge of interview, new staff. Okay. Let us see what Christina and Stephanie said about it. Hello, teacher. In my case, um, who received interviews future employee is as 
legal assistant. Ah, okay, the legal assistant. That's the one. Yeah. Okay, Rafael Ernesto estaba levantando la mano. Yeah, both hands. In my case, uh, I think in, um, the staff, the human resource. Okay, human resources. Okay, let us see the second question that we have here. List five activities you do in a regular day. Okay. You don't need to write down anything. Just tell me five activities that you do in a regular day. When to start. Define, no more than five. Tell me, please. Maybe I'm going to show you again the question because uh, maybe you need to, 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 to see it. You have it there. Least five activities you do in a regular day. Tell me. Only five. Five activities that you do in a regular day. Okay, Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Yes, teacher, me. Tell me, yes. <laughs> Tell me, sir. Tell me, sir. Okay, uh, five. Okay, uh, monitoring, monitoring of the budget execution. Uh, elabora, elaboration, elaboration of planning. Uh, Purchase process e expenses review uh, one uh, solution to financial administrative aspect. Okay. okay thank you, sir. Okay, give me a, a letter from A to L. Regáleme el nombre de una letra de, de la A a la L. Una. Okay. Um, um. A. <laughs> okay, Raquel, you did. You are A. Tell me five activities. Uh, in my case, uh, check my email and review the notification of the certificate. Send by Centro Nacional de Registro. Oh, okay. Uh, send the report of registration certificate. And send the report to my boss. Okay, excellent. Give me another letter from the alphabet from one to 
from from A to 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 L. Okay. Um, B. Letter B. Harrison Manuel. Tell me, Harrison. Hi, teacher. What is the question? Uh, yes, list five activities that you do in a regular day. Okay, teacher. I reviewed the emails, all the emails, and request the email. I have uh, uh, two or three meetings about production, about, about planning. And I check the, the co worker and the activities of co workers all day. I made the, the, the chief uh, of the co workers, and I, I have a. Pregúntele a Wendy que si ella sabe si qué ha pasado ahí, no. And the last, I do the tour of the production plan. Okay. Thank you. Okay, let us continue talking about this topic. Okay, we had uh, two questions. Uh, and now we are going to study the conversation that we have here. Remember that we are going to talk about the simple present. And we have a conversation between Celia and Marcos. And Celia said, good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Pretty good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I had to talk to the staff about some changes in the schedule. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, I reschedule some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyways, how about you? Just the usual, checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. I saw other in the inventory was Janet job. As you can see, they are talking about something that is happening in the company. I want to read again. Good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Pretty good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I had to talk to the staff about some changes in the schedule. I see, I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, I rescheduled some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes anyways. How about you? Just the usual, checking the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. I saw ordering the inventory was Janet's job. Okay, any question about something? Teacher, tell me. Uh, re, 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 reschedule. Re, reschedule. 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 Okay. Otra, otro, eh, y, uh, en, en el último, en lo último que dice Marcos. I, 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 oh, I thought. I thought. Yo pensé. I ese thought. es pasado del verbo, del verbo think. Okay, thank you. I thought or order in the inventory was Janet's job. 
Okay, somebody else want to ask something, please? No. Okay, uh, si alguien no tiene el material, make a screenshot now because I need to stop sharing. Okay, I, I need two volunteers who want to read it, please. Two volunteers. Me, teacher. Ana and somebody else, please. Please. Okay. Okay. Somebody Only. else. Me, teacher. Only. You and? La uh, Dohana. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Do it now, please. Okay. Good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Pretty good. Just finish it. Interview some potential employee. Think I have total to the staff about some change in the schedule. I see. I saw, I saw some people in the reception when I come. Yes, reception, some of the tomorrow. I need to make some call in some units. Anyway, how about you? Just the usual, checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. It on ordering the inventory was Janet Hall. Okay, thank you. I'm going to read it again and I uh, slowly way. try to write down uh, the pronunciation in the way that you listen, please. Good morning, Marcos. How's your day going? Pretty good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. I'm going to repeat again this part. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I had to talk to the staff about some changes in the schedule. Changes in the schedule. I see, I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, I rescheduled some of them tomorrow. I need to make some call in some minutes. Anyways, how about you? Just the usual, checking the personnel ready and ordering the inventory. I thought ordering the inventory was Janet job. Puede repetir la última, teacher. I thought. I sí. thought. I thought. I thought. I thought. I thought. Yeah, ordering the inventory was Janet's job. It is like we, the, the sound start like with a little P, thought. It's in your dental sounds. Remember that if you have some doubt, uh, don't hesitate to ask me something about it. Cuando tengan duda de, de alguna palabra, cómo se pronuncia, les pido de favor que pregunten. Para eso estamos acá, para que cuando ya terminemos la clase, todos puedan pronunciar eh, muy bien las palabras que tenemos en la conversación. Y por eso es que les pido que lean, que practiquen con sus compañeros. Because I want to be sure that all of you uh, manage the words. Somebody else wants to read it, please. Nadia. Por ahí oí que dijo alguien, mi teacher, pero sabe si. Ahí está, Marlene Nicole. 
Yo sola. Somebody wants to help. Me, en mí. Ahí está Rafael dispuesto. Okay. Mira. okay. Um, yes, Rafa. Yes. Okay. I am here. Good morning, Rafa. How is your day going? Pretty good. I <laughs> finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the staff about some changing in the kitchen. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I come. Yes, I recapture some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyway, how about you? Yes, the usual checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. I thought ordering the inventory. What's Janet's job? Janet's job. Uh huh. Okay, I'm going to show you again because uh, I need to emphasize some sounds. For example, let me see. Right here, when I came, when I came, I came. Remember that this is the simple past. This is not the present. This is the simple past. Este es el pasado simple. I'm going to read it again. Se lo voy a leer despacio una vez más. Dice, good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? It's a question. Good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Pretty good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I had to talk to the staff about some changes in the schedule. Schedule. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, I reschedule some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyways, how about you? Just the usual, checking the personnel ready and ordering the inventory. I thought ordering the inventory was Janet's job. Okay. Questions? Preguntas? No question. Maybe my microphone is uh, off because anybody answer me. Let me see what is happening here. No, I got my microphone in the right way. Any question? No, teacher, me no. Okay, you no. Uh -huh. I, uh, I'm just remembering a situation that happened in a play that I used to work. I was teaching something like this and I asked, the same question. And anybody said, no, no, we don't have any questions, teacher. Okay, I said, listen. And I said, okay, you are going to perform the conversation and I'm going to use a piece of paper and I'm going to write down all the words that you mispronounce. And you have to repeat it 50 times. And at the moment, all the students start saying, oh, I, I want to ask you a question, teacher. How do you pronounce this word? How do you pronounce 
those words and so on. And right now we are going to practice in breakout room and later on you are going to do it in front of the class. And se me oye cortado. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, very well. No, no le escuché bien. Estaba bien cortado. Ok, estaba contando como una anécdota que una vez en un lugar donde solía trabajar estaba enseñando una conversación como esta y les pregunto a los muchachos y les digo, ¿alguien tiene alguna pregunta? No, nadie. Ok, entonces les digo, voy a tomar una página y al momento que cada uno va a hacer la conversación te voy a ir anotando todas las palabras que, que no estén... Eh, como bien pronunciadas y esas me las van a repetir 50 veces en ese momento comenzaron todos a preguntar no, 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 teacher, I want to ask you a question how do you say this word? how do you say that word? yeah, only just to avoid repeating it, you know but in your case you saying that you don't have question okay I like that let us go to the breakout room Vámonos para el breakout room and then you are going to perform the conversation. Okay, let us practice. Let me see the time. Okay, three minutes it is enough. And we open it. Here we go. Nancy, Linda, Bautista, Linda Ivet, Linda Ivet, Linda, are you there, Linda? Norma is waiting for you in room number one, please. Go to room one. Teacher, me, no sé qué pasó, me, me sacó la plataforma. Es que le veo que tiene tres usuarios. Como que si estuviese en tres dispositivos al mismo tiempo. Me está fallando. Se queda congelada la imagen y no se escucha. Uh -huh. Has to be with the internet connection, maybe. Posiblemente. Yes. That is a problem yes. that we have here in this country. Las compañías solo nos venden números, pero no servicios. Nos dice, ¿cuántos gigas quiere? 10, 20. Ah, ok, eso le vamos a poner. Pero al final solo nos venden esa cantidad en números, pero en servicio, ¿no? Sí. Ok. Welcome back to all of you. 
only Linda has problem with her connection. Was difficult for her to connect to get to the room. Okay. Just waiting for the first pairs. Are you telling me? Okay, Marlene. Um, Raquel. Aquí estoy. Okay. <laughs> Empieza. Okay. Uh, good morning, Marlene. Marlene, how is your day going? Very good. I just finished up interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the staff about some change in the schedule. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, I rescheduled some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyway, how about you? Just the usual. Checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. I thought ordering the inventory was Janet's job. Okay. I'm, I'm thinking the way that we are going to use in order to, to help each other. Because on time, because of the nervous, you forgot how to say a word. And it's natural. For the reason I, I had told you that you need to have a notebook and a pen or pencil and write down the words that you consider that are really difficult for you. And you can repeat it at least 15 times and that way you are going to get close to the pronunciation. Okay, for the next pairs, I need that all of you pay attention and get a pen and write down all the words that you consider that are mispronounced. Do you know what is mispronounced? That means that you are going to make a list of words that you consider that are not in a, in a good pronunciation, okay? And you are going just to tell me the right way, not the wrong way. Imagine if you write five words, you are going to tell me five words, but in the right way. Capici or no capici? Entendio or no entendio? Yes or not? Be honest and tell me. No. Can you explain again, teacher, please? Okay, when somebody else uh, is reading, cuando alguien más esté leyendo, you are going to take a pen or a pencil, it's up to you, and all the words that you consider that are not pronounced in the right way, you are going to write it down. And that means that you are going to make a list. As soon as uh, they finish reading, you are going to say, you are going to write your hand and you are going to read it, but in the right way. You are not going to mention any name. 
en español más rápido. Ok. Al momento que alguien esté leyendo, agarra un lápiz o un lapicero y vaya haciendo un listadito de las palabras que usted considera de que su compañero pronunció en, tal vez no en la forma correcta. Y cuando ellos terminen de leer, usted solo levanta su mano y usted me va a leer esas palabras, pero en la forma correcta, sin decir eh, X o Y persona de los que leyeron no pronunciaron. No, el objetivo es que nos ayudemos todos. ¿Me comprenden el ejercicio? Sí, teacher. No, no lo veo. Yes, yes, teacher. No lo veo con yes, no, yes, no lo veo con yes, teacher. Okay, next pair, please. Siguiente pareja, por favor. Mi teacher, fue lo que me tocó a mí sola. No, no, no. Somebody else is going to help you. What about Linda? Linda can yes, help teacher. you. Okay. Yes. Good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Very good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the staff about some change in the schedule. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, I rescheduled some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyway, how about you? Just the usually checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. I thought ordering the inventory was Janet's, Janet's job. Thank you, Linda. Okay. And you are going to do it in this way. If I have my hands up, that means that I am going to read some words, right? And I'm going to say changes, changes, Change. pl plural, plural, changes. Another word, ready, 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 ready. Okay, somebody else, please. Ready, ready. Nancy. Ah, sí, sí, ya los veo que se me despertaron otra vez. Okay. Nancy. Nancy. Okay, you start. You start. Aquí estoy, teacher. Okay. Hola. Okay. Good morning. How is your day going? Very good. I just finished interview some potential employee. Then I have to tell to, to the staff about some changes in this schedule. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, reschedule some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyway, how about, how about, about you? Just they push shaking that the personal is ready and ordinary inventory. I thought ordering the inventory was Janet Joe. Thank, Thank you, Anna. Thank you, Christine. <laughs> Okay. I'm waiting for somebody that tell me, teacher, I'm going to read my list. No, anybody? Anybody? Nobody. Mm -hmm. What about the word came? 
When I came. When I came. Okay, somebody else, somebody else, please. The last. I the last. heard uh, talk, the, the word talk, a schedule. Yes. And ready, ready. Ready? Ready. And I, and I, and I agree with you. Yeah, schedule came, thought, okay. Somebody else, please, the last, last pairs. Unit two, unit, unit two, I will be able to. Okay, hold on, I need to check up the list. Let's check up the list of the assistance, so please. I remember that I think you I don't know if it was the last week or in this week, but a, song, a, a link in order that you can practice listening comprehensions. Here you can find out so a lot of exercises. Interviews future employees in your company. Please, five activity do you do in a regular day? A regular day. Listen to your teacher read a conversation. Then practice with a panel, with a partner. Good morning, Marcos. How is you? How is your day going? How is your going? How much time do you have? How much time do you have? How much time do you have? How much time How is your going, pray? How is your day going? What is your job? What is your going? What is your How is your day? How is your day going? Good morning, Marcos. How is your day today? We need uh, somebody help. Rafael. Excellent, Rafael. Yeah, hey. we need, we, we need, Ramose and Rafael. We need uh, somebody help, Rafael, in order that perform yeah. the conversation. <laughs> uh, but let me check out the the, the, the oh, Mimi. <laughs> okay, solo paso lista y se luce Rafael. Ana Cristina. Present teacher. Ana del Carmen. Present teacher. Ángel. Present teacher. Cristina Estefani. Present teacher. Um, Fátima. Present. Uh, Giovanni Alexander. Present teacher. Person. Present. Juan Carlos. Option. Karen Yesenia. Option. Karina. Present. Linda Ivette. Present teacher. Maria Julia. Marlene. Present. Nancy. Present. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. And Rafael. I'm here, teacher. Raquel. Present teacher. Suleima. Present teacher. Okay. okay, I got it, I got it. Okay, uh, somebody want to help uh, Rafael to, 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 to do the conversation?
Vaya, Rafa. Do it, Rafa. Do it, Rafa. You can do it. Go ahead. Myself? No, with the help of Marlene. Oh, Marlene. Good morning, Marlene. How is your day going? Uh, pretty good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the staff about some changes in the schedule. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, I rescheduled some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyway, how about you? Just the usual, checking the, the personnel in reading and ordering the inventory. I thought ordering the inventory was Jan's job. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay, let us continue. I'm going to read the last time. Good morning, Marcus. How is your day going? Remember the intonation has to do is a really important part in a conversation. The way that you are going to uh, give intonation to question, for example. Good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Pretty good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I had to talk to the staff about some changes in the schedule. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes. I reschedule some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyways, how about you? Just the usual. Checking the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. I saw ordering the inventory was Jeanette's job. Okay. I hope that all of you got the right pronunciation. And now we are going to work in, in the three questions that we have. Uh, and we are going to do it in pairs. You are going to discuss the three questions. But first of all, I'm going to read it in order that you can get familiar with it. The number one said, what kind of job does Marcos have? And the second one. What are some of his responsibilities? And the third one, how similar are the activities they do with the ones you do? Talking about yourself. Okay, we are going to go to the breakout room and then you are going to discuss this question with somebody else. Try to answer it, please. I got 15. I'm going to recreate the, the groups. In the third one is going to be Angel, Rafael, and Raquel. The rest are going to have only just two. Let us do it now, please. Try to answer those questions. Nancy, somebody is waiting for you. In room three, Nancy.
Okay, who wants to read the uh, question number one? One of you are uh, is going to read it and somebody else is going to give the answer, please. Question number one. What kind of job does Marcos have? Okay, who wants to answer this question? The answer is human resource manager. Jobs manager. I I think. You think okay I like that expression. Okay, what 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 do you think the rest of the class? What can you tell me about it? I think teacher that he he belongs to human resource department. Okay. Excuse me. Okay, second question, please. And also in the number one, we can say that uh, he belongs to the human resource and is part of the recruiting team. Okay, question number two, please. Uh, what are some of his responsibilities? Um, makes makes interviews and make some calls. Okay, thank you. And the number three, please. Talking about the previews, what Mario has to do is just schedule meetings and make calls. Okay, question number three, please. Hey teacher, in my case, I have to interview future uh, workers and see their profile. Okay, that means that you, you are doing something like Marcos. Yes, in this case, yes. Okay. Okay, what about the question number three, please? A volunteer who wants to read it. How similar are the activities they do with the ones you do? Ah, okay. Um, in my case, only the only the activity that is similar with my with them is to make some calls. Okay. Yes. Okay, to make calls. Okay, thank you. Let us continue with, oh, let me see here. What's going on?
Tiempo. Okay, we are going to talk about everyday tasks and right here uh, we are going to see some examples. Take a look at some common tasks of personnel at a restaurant. How different or similar are with yours? For example, the first one sent me the head chef to review the weekly menu. That means that you are going to have a meeting with the head chef to review the weekly menu. Okay, the second one called a marketing company about promotional souvenirs. Order the inventory. Talk to the staff about changes in that schedule. Interview potential employees and the last one check that we could schedule. That mean uh, these are everyday tasks. Of course, in a restaurant, in your places maybe it's, it's different. But we need to get familiar with this expression. Like in your case, for example, uh, you can meet with a supervisor of production and different kind of. Okay, I need that, you, that somebody read it, please. Who wants to do it? Anybody wants to read it? Alguien que desee leer los ejemplos? Todas, teacher. Yes. At, okay. at least at least the first uh, the first and second. And then somebody else. In order that three of you had the opportunity, the opportunity to read it, okay? So I have. Yes, yes, only only read okay. it. Okay. Need the the head chef to review the weekly menu. Call okay. a marketing company about promotional so, souvenirs. Souvenirs, no. Souvenirs. No. Souvenirs. 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 Okay. Only. All. Uh, all. Only. Yes. Okay. That's okay. it. Thank you. Somebody okay. else, please. Order the inventory. Talk to the staff about changing in the schedule. Okay. Thank you. Somebody else? Interview potential employees, check the weekly schedule. Okay, try to keep in mind all these uh, sentences because later on you are going to create your own. Right here in the exercise number five, we are going to work in peers and write the task you do in your workplace. But listen, then, you are getting pairs and ask your classmate about the task he or she does in her workplace. But first of all, you are going to work here in your task. And later on, we are going to talk with somebody else. That means that you are going to make a list of your task that you do in your workplace. Let us do it now, please. Take your notebook and write down at least, you can write down at least 
four or five tasks that you do in your job. And then you are going to compare with somebody else. Okay, do it now, please. What we are uh, doing, Marlon, tell me in Spanish. In order that you uh, can help the rest of the class. Las indicaciones. Yes, the instructions, what you're going to yeah. do. Vamos a escribir nuestras tareas o cosas que hacemos en nuestro trabajo. Ah, okay, okay. Por si alguien tenía duda, ya usted les ayudó. Ok. Ok, thank you. You can write down four or five, it's up to you. But try to do it, try to do it, please.
Did you finish? Not yet? Not yet. Thank you. Only four or five, no more than that, please. Okay, let me see how many sentence, uh, sentences did you write, Harrison? How many do you have? Three, four, or five? Three. Okay. What about you, Angel? Yes, teacher. How many sentences did you write? Four. Okay, you got you got four. Okay, let us go to the breakout room, and then you are going to compare. And that way you are going to fill the, the, the right chart that you have there. Para que llenen el cuadro que tienen a la derecha con la información de su compañero. Okay, here we go. I'm going to recreate this. Teacher, sorry, but me, sa me salí otra vez. Tengo muchos problemas con el internet, teacher, ahorita. Okay. Don't worry, don't worry.
I want to hear what do you have in your notebook about your information and your classmate information also. Who wants to read it? Please share with me the info. Okay, Marlene, give me a number from one to 15. Mm, 15. Really? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. 15 is the last person. Okay, Suleiman Elgar, it's your turn. Yes, teacher. Um, cla eh, de Raquel, le voy a decir. Okay. Eh, check the emails, review notification of the certificate CNR, say the report registration, the certificate administration. Administración, creo que me dijo. Finish. Ah, ok. O sea, le estoy diciendo la de mi compañera o era las mías. No, 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 you can, you can read it. Uh, your or oh. the information of the person that you talk with. Ah, ok, teacher. <clears throat> But if you are going to talk about the information of somebody else, it's going to be better if you say, for example, uh, Raquel has to, remember that we are using the, the simple present. Try, okay, to, teacher. Try, try to use the structure because I, what I want to see is that, that you are using the simple present in the right way. That is the main purpose for us today. And if you're Raquel, go, okay, go ahead, do it. Okay. Raquel, does you check the email? Raquel? Uh, Raquel, uh, does has, oh, has, has, perdón, sorry, has, check the email. Has, check the email. Check. Es como que check diga en español, Raquel email. tiene que revisar el correo electrónico. Ya, yeah, ok. Continue. Ok. Raquel has review notification of the certificate CNR. Raquel has the same report, the registration certificate. Finish. Okay. Raquel has to design the report and so on. Okay, thank you. I hope that you can take note about what I'm saying. Okay, give me a number, please. Give me a number. Mm. From one to 15. Seven. Seven is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. My friend Rafael Ernesto, you are the one. Choose. Okay.
In my case, you know, solo anoté la mía, teacher. Ok. Vamos, un par. I check control about personal assistant daily. And I check order about medicine. And I check video surveillance camera system every day. Okay, thank you. Okay, well, I hope that all of you had your your sentences there. Let me see what else we need to do. Okay, this is the information right here. You are going to write down. Uh, you already wrote your info, your tasks, and right here your classmate tasks. But right now, what we need to do is this. We are going to practice. Uh, what you are going to do is just that you are going to write down a five line paragraph about the task you, your boss or your colleague does in your workplace. That means that you are not going to write down about yourself. You are going to write down about your boss or your colleague. In this case, for example, you are going to say, my, my boss has to, remember that you need to use in the right way the simple present tense. Or if you are going to talk about your colleagues and you need to use the right in the right way the simple present tense too. And then we are going to chat it with the class. Let me see if you know the activity that your boss does. Veamos a ver si conocen, se recuerdan de las actividades que hace su jefe. Pero alguien me va a decir, no tengo jefe. <laughs> I'm the boss, my own boss. <laughs> Okay, try to try to write down the paragraph, please. When I ask you to write down a paragraph, that means that you need to have connectors in order to sound in a better way. Recuerden que al momento que les pido que escriban un párrafo, van a usar conectores para que eso suene bien. Ya no oraciones así individualizadas, sino ya conectadas una con otra. Okay, let us do it now, please. And then everyone is going to have the opportunity to express your ideas, that that is the main purpose. Okay, start doing it. And today I need to talk with, let me see. Uh-huh, I need to talk with Ana del Carmen Mejia de Alvarez today. And tomorrow is the turn for Karina Noemi. As I told you before, if you are the boss, you can write down something about one colleague in, in the company. And don't forget to turn on your cameras to see your face. Because in Sephora lies to wash your face.
Remember to use uh, the structure of the simple present in the right way if you are going to talk about your boss or a, a colleague. Ok, two minutes, two minutes left, two minutes left, les quedan dos minutos. Remember there is a, is a, is a paragraph of five lines. Okay, time is over, time is over. Time is over. I know that some of you are a little tired now, because, but don't worry, we are close to finish. We are going to listen to some of you in order to know the information and the structure that you use. I don't know if you want to do it uh, in a volunteer way or I'm going to choose how do you prefer? ¿Cómo prefiere hacerlo voluntariamente? Or in another way. Choose. Okay, I'm going to choose. Let me see. A los que no tienen cámara encendida, con eso voy a comenzar entonces. 
Giovanni Alexander. <laughs> sí, ¿eh? <laughs> ok. Ok. Eh, Páralo. Ok. Eh, my boss is in charge of the strategic uh, alliance of the project. He monitor the technical execution of the project in support the partner to meet the goals. Create a space with company with similar objective to strengthen competence, competence with the purpose of winning. No? So, no more, no more. <laughs> okay. Okay, you are going to choose your victim. Sorry? You are going to choose your victim. Elija su victim. Quien quiere que lea. Ah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Para que no se enojen solo con mí y no con usted también. Ah. <laughs> Bueno, la, el mismo criterio vamos a usar. Ah, el ok. Mismo criterio. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Veamos. No le dije nombre, solo le dije el mismo criterio. Ahí usted decide. <risa> Me dejé, ya, ya lo vi. Ya lo vi que hizo la de Pilato. <risa> Okay, bueno, uh, at the beginning we said that the people that had the cameras off iban a participar los que tenían cámaras apagadas, así que quien tiene la cámara apagada en este momento es Suleyma Melgar. Are you ready, Suleyma? I tried. Okay, okay, I like that. Do it. Uh, my boss has me check emails. Um, we have meetings with co workers, and he asked me make many financial reports. And and we attend many clients only. You attend a lot of clients. Okay, choose your victim, Suleyma. Así se llama la estrategia, choose your victim. Marlene. Ah, okay, Marlene. Marlene. <laughs> okay. Uh, my boss has to check her email uh, to she has to review the cells about let's say uh, sometimes she has to make inventory and she needs to send to report. Only that. Choose your victim. Person. <laughs> okay. Let me see. My boss, he pass he passes in meeting with the managers. He makes monthly work plans. He makes meetings all days. And he, he makes a, <clears throat> evaluations with the all coordinators. Are you going to choose your victim? The last one is going to be the last one because of the time. Me too. Okay. <laughs> Veamos. 
A mi amigo Rafael lo veo bien sonriente. Ah, ok, Rafael. Present. <laughs> Thank you, Erso. Uh, my boss has a okay. line of location. Check GPS, the all company track. Personal control. Supervisor of the branches. Check polygraphic. Organize security strat strat strategy. Ajá, por ahí les envío la pronunciación de esta palabra. Strategy. Yes. Only that teacher. Only that, sir. Okay, thank you. Because of the time, we are going to stop right here. Strategy. Okay, okay. Uh, clarifying that I give you to all of you the same opportunity that you can speak. Remember that when we are learning a language, it's really, really important that you practice. And this is the moment that you have during the class because sometimes, well, in fact, I, I don't know uh, if some of you use English in your job every day. I, I'm not pretty sure about that, but maybe some of you do it and you had the opportunity to practice. Okay, okay. Let me see. What else? Do you want to say something, Rafa? Rafa? Say me, teacher. Do you want to say something? Excuse me. Quería decir algo. No, teacher. No. Ok. Ana Cristina. No está. Ana del Carmen. Es teacher. Ángel. Present. Present teacher. Pues soy present. Ana del Carmen. Present teacher Ana del Carmen y Ana Cristina también le dijo present. Ah, ok. Se parecen las voces. Eh, Fátima. Present. Giovanni. Teacher, no me, me menciono. Cristina, Stephanie. Yeah, Cristina. I'm mentioning. Okay, Harrison. Present. Juan Carlos. I don't see Juan Carlos. Karen Yesenia. No estuvo Karen. Karina. Linda. Present teacher. María Julia. Marlene. Present. Nancy. Present teacher. Norma. Present teacher. Rafael. Present teacher. And Suleima Veronica. Present teacher. Elgar. Your name is? Raquel. Raquel Judith Vasquez. Okay. Okie dokie. Thank you very much. I don't know if you want to say something about it. Any comments about the class? Espero que no se, no se me molesten algunos cuando le llamo así y le digo, hey, haga aquí. I hope so. If I do this, it's because I want to help you. Cuando yeah, alguien... Okay. Fatima? Everything is okay. Okay. I agree with you. Okay, thank you. I hope that the rest of the class too, because suddenly I don't want to get mad to anybody. The main purpose is that you practice. That is the main goal for us. Okay, thank you very much. Have a good night and I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay. Remember, remember, don't forget to 
to check the platform because I need to update the great chart. Ya el día de mañana, eh, después de la clase, voy a actualizar sus notas para ir al día. Así que les pido de favor que eh, vayan haciendo sus actividades porque ya mañana hemos llegado a la mitad, a the middle of the module. And for that reason, I need to have all your grace. Necesito tener todas sus actividades, todas sus notas para ir al día y no estar corriendo al final. And something really important that you need to know is that algo importante que sí se lo puede explicar en español es que recuerden que vamos a terminar el 10 de diciembre y eh, generalmente la compañía que nos audita eh, creo que solo nos va a dar espacio de el 11 porque la mayoría de ellos uh, they are going to have vacations so please uh, I invite you to to resolve all the exercise that you have in the platform por lo tanto les pido que vayan resolviendo los ejercicios para que cuando ya se llegue la fecha lo que nos haga falta sea poco y se pueda completar justo en un par de horas Así que les puedan aparecer sus notas. Ok. Ok, thank you very much. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Good night. I need to talk with Anna. Don't go, Anna. Please don't go, Anna. Stay there. Anna. Yes, teacher. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> ok, no problem. Okay, now you are going to have the opportunity to clarify some doubts that you have. Mm. Uh, in person, I would like to congratulate you because all the time you are opting in the class, asking and participating, and that is really nice for you. That is going to help you a lot because if you don't ask any question, if you don't participate, you are going to learn, but not in the same uh, way that people do when they interact in the class. Me está diciendo que lo hago, ¿no? <laughs> no, lo que le estoy explicando es que, que lo que hace usted es bueno porque siempre está activa, está interactuando, sí, <laughs> está preguntando y eso es bueno. Entonces... Eh, cuando un estudiante es activo, participa, eh, aprende más, aunque esté con el, el resto. Es decir, mm -hmm. en una clase no todos van a aprender lo, lo mismo, sino que... Sí, porque tengo muchos mistakes. Así se llaman, ve errores, va. mistakes. Todos tenemos mistakes. <risa> para, para, sí, para, para, pero, pues... pero lo que le quiero decir es que, que por eso participo, porque yo sé que me equivoco y me corrige y así voy aprendiendo. En inglés hay algo que se llama try and error. Prueba, error, prueba, error. Try and error. Try and error. And, ah, try and error. Try and error. Teacher, yo le iba a preguntar que la tarea, yo, la actividad, me recuerdo cuál, que le, que le preguntamos en la pregunta cuatro. No la, la actividad. Resuelto. No, no lo puedo hacer de ninguna manera. Okay. Y creo que la mayor, yo no sé si los demás compañeros, pero tengo como a cuatro compañeras que sí no, le, no, la, pudi, no la han podido hacer y así la han dejado. Ok. I'm going to report it. So tomorrow I'm going to talk with the person in church in order that he or she can check it. Ok. I'm going to send a report about that in order that the person in charge check it. And I'm going to do it tomorrow in, at, in the morning in order that you can solve the problem. Okay. Porque ahí lo que hay es, es un errorcito que es mejor que quizás... De la plataforma, ¿verdad? Que ellos lo corrijan, sí, para que así les sea más fácil. Ah, ok. Sí, porque yo creo que ese error es el que nos hace que no podamos... Sí. Eh, no salga correcto, ¿verdad? Ok, excelente. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ay. What else? Nos ayuda en eso. Okay, I'm going Only. to 
Olga. Only teacher. Sí, ahí queriendo aprender un poquito cada día. Ok. Primero that is, Dios. That is very important. Sí, sí, primero And Dios. As I told you before, if you practice, if you keep uh, in the same way that you are doing, you are going to learn. But if you just sí. stay listening and you never produce a sound, at the moment that you are going to do it, you are going to be afraid, you know? And for that sí. reason, you need to you need to go ahead. Te necesita ir hacia adelante, sí. no se preocupe. Eh, sí, ni okay. esté pensando, es que me voy a equivocar, que por eso no hablo. Eh, no, a mí me gusta hablar. <laughs> Tantas cosas que uno se, se, le, se le ponen sí. ahí, de, se le bloquea la mente. ¿no? Sí, sí. Entonces, sí, a veces la... me, quedo, me quedo así, vea, que dijo sí, el teacher, ahora, la, pero. La, la técnica que les estaba dando hoy, esa es muy importante. Eh, ¿Por qué? Porque yo lo que voy a hacer es ir aprendiendo de mis compañeros. Cuando sí. alguien está leyendo algo, yo lo que hago es agarro el lapicero o el lápiz, escribo las palabras en las cuales yo considero de que no las pronunció bien el que está leyendo. Sí. Pero no para corregirlo, sino al menos en forma directa, sino para leerlas como, como yo creo que son. Y de esa manera mi compañero al oír, él mismo se va, se va a dar cuenta y va a decir, ah, las está leyendo porque entonces no las dije bien. Pero sí. diferente es que alguien le diga, mire, todas estas, la, 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 la. Entonces no, no se siente bien uno. Sí, claro, sí. El objetivo sí. es que se ayuden entre todos. Sí, correcto. ¿Verdad? Correcto, sí, Tiche. Ah, Gracias por la paciencia. Es. Ok, <risa> no problem. I'm here to help you, ok? I hope to see you tomorrow. tomorrow. And, and, and good night. Bye lo bye. del problem, el del problema uh, mañana. Yes. I'm going to send it. Uh, I'm going mañana, to help. bien, ok. Sí. Yo voy, Thank you, a hablar, voy a hablar en la mañana con la persona encargada para que lo revise y si hay que hacerle modificaciones lo pueda hacer y así ustedes tienen ya la oportunidad de poder actualizar esa actividad eh, en un rato libre y así me da eh, más espacio a mí también para poder registrar las notas de, de las dos semanas y llevar al día el cuadro porque... Eh, recordemos que ya la semana en la que vamos a salir, algunas personas, algunas empresas se van ya de vacaciones. De vacaciones, sí. Eh, sí. No todas, desde luego, pero al menos algunas eh, sí, ¿verdad? Las sí. que son de negocios y de ventas, eso sí, porque es cuando más plata hacen, pero... Ah, quisiéramos. <risa> quisiéramos que hoy está bien calmada la venta. De ver, no, pero ya, ya, nomás llegó diciembre, se van a activar. Primero Dios. Sí, así es. Sí. Ok, thank you thank very you. much. I have to see Bel you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher, tomorrow. Ok, bye bye. Bye bye.